Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and I have a few Etsy shares to share with you, and then something on the bottom from us. So the first one, I got this in the mail yesterday from Susan, and it is Hello Susan on Etsy, and I will put all these links below. Let's see. She just says, I'm so happy you're better. That was such a, such a scary fall. Uh, I sure am glad these ladies were there to help you. Me too. I've uh, been enjoying my projects you have been creating. Um, I've come up with so many ideas for us. Thank you. In this package, I've sent you two journal kits for you to share and play with. One is Splendid Yellow. The second is Black Lace Florals. Ooh, both of those look beautiful. <laughs> Sound beautiful. I haven't opened them yet enjoying working with them. I hope you enjoy. Sorry, I'm having trouble reading today. I hope you're enjoying work. You will enjoy working with them and I look forward to seeing what you create with them. I also made a couple of projects using the kits as samples. Uh, they were so much fun. Thank you for your friendship and support. You are so kind and I'm very grateful. Hugs. Hello, Susan Etsy. And look at that. Isn't that beautiful? You know, Susan, that I will use that. I will keep your letter in my correspondence journal, but I'm going to use that in one of my projects. <laughs> of course I am. All right, let's get into this and see what goodies she has sent. Uh, hmm, okay, come out. And I have to take the little butterfly off because I don't want to lose him. He will be good to put on the front of a journal. Isn't that pretty? Okay, this says focus on the good. And she comes up with some of the prettiest packing paper. This tissue paper is so pretty and I don't want to cut it because I want to use it. <laughs> like I have got enough tissue paper and things to last me for the rest of my life and then some, but you know how we are. Oh my goodness. And look at look at the inside. It's black. Isn't that pretty? I bet this one has to do with black lace. Put that right there. Oh, how pretty. Enjoy today. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Susan, you know we'll have to make one of these too. Oh my goodness. It's a little pocket up here at the top. And then some pockets here, pockets here, pockets over here. This is so cute. I love this. A little book in there. Oh, we're going to have to make some. That is so cute. You come up with some great ideas, girl. All right, so that is that piece. And I'm sure that's from the black floral. Enjoy the little things. Oops. I'm tearing my paper. Just don't want to tear my butterfly. Oh, there we go. Got him off. Let me pull that tape off of the back of him, or he will try to stick to other people in there. And I love that black seam binding. I don't think I have any black seam binding. Oh my goodness. Come on, open up. I know y'all just love watching me Un unpack gifts. Oh my goodness, look at this. Look at this. It is so cute. It's got a little pocket back there. A pocket right there. It's got all tags in that. Look at that watering can. That's that patina. Everybody loves that. How cute. Thank you. It's going to go there now. Let's get into these. These are the papers. I'll take that little butterfly off in a minute. Follow your heart. She's got on the back of that. And then, of course, we have her card. And I'm going to lay it right there so you can see her name. Well, I'm not salvaging too much of this one, but we've got some over there, so we're good. 
I just love how you put that black on the inside. That is so pretty. And it is so amazing how each person that designs, they have their own style. I can see your papers anywhere on YouTube, and I know they're yours, Susan. I love this. This is called Splendid Yellow. So there's that one. Look at that little greenhouse. That one with a little kitty. Oh my goodness, how cute. Those blackberries. <clears throat> so pretty. There's that watering can. And the bees. Oh, I love this. That'll go good in a journal. Look at that. Oh, I can't wait. Birds are singing. Inspire. Uh, aspire. Delight. Ooh, look at those tags. These are gorgeous. Love, love, love them. And she has printed these out on a heavier cardstock. I love that because when you're using your tags, then you can back them, but you don't have to back them with something real thick because the paper's already kind of thick. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. This one is called Black Lace Floral. Wow, look at that black lace. Girl, you have outdone yourself on this one. Oh my goodness, look at those birds. This will make such a pretty journal. Mm -mm -mm. I love it. Thank you so much, Susan. Can't wait to play with it. And I know everybody's going to be rushing right over there and ordering these. You better. Oh my goodness, you better. Because we're going to be using these in a journal very, very soon. I've got quite a few journals planned for May. So these are going to be great. I love that right there. Love when it's got words on it, don't you? The Monarch Butterfly. And it gives the definition. So cute, Susan. Wow. And it just goes on and on. That is so cute. Can't wait to use this. I love that background that you used there. That's so pretty. Okay, so that again was from Hello Susan. And it is Splendid, uh, splendid Yellow and Black Lace, what was it, Floral? Yes, black lace florals. So hop over there and grab these now because I am telling you, I bet everybody else is going to be grabbing them in a hurry. So I'm going to put my little butterflies on here. Right there. And she just punched a little, I don't know if she has a little punch, I guess that does that. See that little hole right there? And then she put her lace through there. Let me know if that's a punch, Susan. All right, we're going to lay Susan's right here. Okay, this collection is from a brand new store on Etsy. And the name of her store is Terry's Paper Treasures. So if you like purples and lavenders and pinks and all that, this kit is gorgeous. So there is that one. Look at that. Very pretty. She has her own unique design. This is mainly for Mother's Day, as you can see. Of course, you could use it for any day. If you didn't want to use it for Mother's Day, you could cover that with something. But I think I will use this for a Mother's Day journal. And I love these. I have not. I didn't. I didn't get all of the end on mine, so make sure that you shrink it down. I didn't shrink it, and I cut off a little bit of the end. But these are so cute to use in your journals. I've not seen any made exactly like that before. Those would slide in a little tuck at the top. That'd be pretty. Just don't forget to make sure that all of your edges are on there when you print your ephemera. I didn't do that on this one. I should have, but I didn't. I was busy doing something else, so I was just letting it print. Let's see. No, I was trying to say that's the same as that, but it's not. This one's got a background in it. So pretty. Look at that, another watering can. <laughs> Do you see a theme going here? And this is from two different people. I don't even know if they know each other or not. 
and we got some little jars here with glass jars so watch later on when I show one and watch for the glass jars Isn't that pretty happy Mother's Day and then this outside looks like a painting so pretty so pretty all right Terry's uh, T-E-R-E -E apostrophe S is how you spell it Terry's paper treasures on Etsy and again on this one I didn't print the, f the full page so make sure that you shrink it down so you can get all your little cards in there gorgeous I think this one and this one I printed the same yeah I printed a couple of them twice so thank you so much Terry that is beautiful 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 and I will have it linked below on that one this is from Betty from Betty's Custom Creations on Etsy. Make sure that you go over and check her out. She's got, <clears throat> excuse me, she's got quite a few up, but this one is gorgeous and it's a different vibe altogether. It's got the deep, deep uh, plums in there. But this one, if I'm not mistaken, is called, Terry, this one is from Betty and I do believe it's called Wildflowers. Or sunflowers. You know what? I was wrong all the way around. This one is called daisies. I was thinking it was called sunflowers. I hope I printed the right one. But anyway, I will link it below. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Very, very pretty. And this has got some of your deeper colors in there. But it looks so good. Are those daisies or sunflowers? I don't know. I don't know my flower. So anyway, I think she called it daisy. And these could be your background or, or your back sheets to print on the opposite side so that you'd have both sides printed. And that one again could be printed on the back side and you could write on that journal. This one. And this one. You could journal on all of those. So she's got some good background sheets on this one. I like that. I like the background sheets. Then I don't have to hunt for something to print on them. Isn't that pretty? I love that deep blue in the background. Makes those flowers pop. Now this one, I apologize, but I ran out of my colored ink while this was printed and I didn't printing and I didn't want to go back right then and add it because I had some other things going but this one is beautiful too it has the yellow flower there in the center so but that one again and I'm thinking she calls it daisies but that is from Betty's custom designs on Etsy and we'll be using that in some of our projects and then this one is from after midnight designs this girl I believe she lives in Italy somewhere over there but um you know I designed for her about two months ago and so she has sent me another collection that I will be designing with in May so watch for this one and this one is called cherry orchard so look at that isn't that pretty it's kind of muted look at these cherry blossoms or dogwood blossoms I don't know she says they're cherry blossoms and I I think that's what they are you know, I know no, nothing about flowers. They, dogwoods look a lot like these to me. Look at that. Love that. Put this. This would be good for a backer sheet. You could write on that. And look at this. So pretty. I love all of the extra backer sheets that she puts in here. Look at that one. That one would be perfect. Just a water. Uh, coffee dyed or ink dyed page in there that you can use on the back and this is her very special design she always includes an old old vintage building just inside of all of her projects and they're so so pretty and there's a little bit of that teal just peeking out here and there I uh, love it and here again she's got an old fellow there and then a 
house right back in the just like stuck back in the middle there and then you see the cherry blossoms all around and look at this that antique or uh, that blue patina blue isn't that pretty this is gorgeous looks like you should walk right in there looks so real there's the cherries oh I'd like to have a big cup of cherries right now look at that I think I printed this one twice maybe some of them I did that one I printed twice and then this one this one has the lines on it and the other one doesn't but that that would be wonderful for a backer sheet. And then here, yeah, this is called Cherry Orchard Junk Journal. And here's a pocket. And then you've got an old vintage postcard and then a little frame there. And then here's another pocket with a vintage postcard. And I bet that vintage postcard will slide right in there. I'm not sure because I haven't cut it out and tried it, but if it doesn't, I know you can make your tags that it would fit in there. Look at this. I told you there was jars coming again. She's got the jars with just a few things in the bottom of them. that cute? And then the tickets. I love her tickets. That's so cute. And then here's some journaling cards. More journaling cards and more tickets. Journaling cards, tags, and tickets gorgeous and then here is that um what i call it a walkway cherry walkway there you go and then this is a big pocket very pretty love that and then here's another big pocket and another her kits are huge aren't they look at that pretty and then look at these look at all these tickets with the images that she has inserted in those and then journaling uh, little cards here and then here's another little pocket with some tags another pocket and tags so pretty isn't that okay that one again is from after midnight designs and it's called cherry orchard junk journal and i will link this one below as well so go over and grab this one you can see how thick it is now I printed all of these on uh, it's a copy paper but it's a little bit thick but it is a little bit thicker than just regular copy paper okay now for the freebie for you guys for from us this is the first sheet of the freebie and this is going to be geared toward Mother's Day so there's going to be lots in here that you could also use with this Mother's Day collection. So there's the flowers. Here is a, this is like an expandable little pocket. You can make it expand where you could put lots of things down in there. We'll cut that out in a minute and I'll show you how that works. And then two more pockets. Let's see, let's do it this way. This one has a cotton ball on there. And then this one has some little flowers and then there's another opening right there that you could slide something in to do a peekaboo pocket and then here are two different sizes of these and it's a mother it says a mother's love and then one of these and you can see how these would kind of go kind of the same colors in there so you could use some of these with the other collections so let's go ahead and cut this out and I think I'll just use my trimmer because I can oops sorry about that noise I dropped something in the floor I can trim the straight edges and then we will cut off the rounded corners and that kind of thing there we go Now on this one as well, you'll need to make sure that you print these and look at them before you print them and make sure that you have enough of your um, edges showing that you can do your folds because this takes a full sheet and I did have to tell it to fit to page. 
so you need to make sure that you do the fit to page on your printer so I wanted this one to be kind of big because you could put it in the front or the back of a journal and I think I'm going to use it in the front of my correspondence journal okay so I'm going to trim these out real quick and then we'll come back and put them together and then I'll kind of show you what we're going to do with some of them okay we have those cut out and I think I'm just going to fold I don't think I'm going to drag out my oh, score score I don't think I'm going to drag out my scoreboard I don't think we'll need it I cannot talk today I know I say that a lot lately but some days it's just worse than others so there is that one isn't that cute and all I did was fold it where those little dots are. You could put a little bit of glue right here on the sides and glue it up, or you could leave it like that and let it flip out for a little uh, journaling spot. But isn't that cute? So that is that one. And it will go with so many of those papers over there. And then this one, let's see. I did this one in two different sizes for you. because I had a little bit of blank space on the page and I just went ahead and did another one of these. That there. And right there. That looks good. And then this one will just go down on the page. Put glue here on these little flaps and just glue it down on the page like that. Make a little tag to tuck in there. Isn't that cute? Let's go ahead and do the big one. Just so you can see what the big one looks like. There we go. And then the bottom. Okay. There's the larger one. Hold it up a little bit so you can see. Isn't that cute? All right, and then this one that has the little opening or peekaboo part there. And of course, you could use your scoreboard. I'm just doing it the quick way. I don't want to drag it out right this minute. Okay, and then one more fold right here. Okay, so this one, I think, let me see. Okay, on this one, you need to cut that right there at a little bit of an angle, just so that will, or you could put this on the outside, but I like to put it on the inside. So I'm just going to cut it a little bit at an angle, just so that it'll fold in there better. So see, then that folds up in there, and then this folds over like that. And this would glue here, and then that bottom would glue right down there and you have a little peekaboo pocket so see it's folded like that and that put your glue here and here and then just fold that over so it's going to go together like that and you can put a little tuck little thing up here in the top that has something pretty showing through it like those flowers isn't that pretty so that is another and you could put it you know cut out a little pull there if you wanted to I just left mine but I thought that was cute. And then this is a different one. Let's go ahead. I've been promising you guys some pockets. And I have just got around to getting them done. Or getting them finished. I had them partially done for a while, but I had to finish. Okay, and then this, let's see, this little part's gonna fold over. So wherever you see those little dots, that's a score line. So that's going to fold over like that. And I usually put it together and then you can see if you need to fold it a little bit different. So there is that one. The cotton ball on the front of it. That cute. So that's how that one's folded. Just like that. And then the last one. And let's see if I can fold this one without doing the score lines. I think I can. 
I think. Let's see if I can fold this one without the scoreboard. I may not fold it straight. Okay, let's grab the scoreboard on this one because I'm afraid with these two little lines here, I'm not going to fold it straight. So Now, I, I drew, somebody said, where did you buy that that had that center, little center uh, line right down through there? I didn't. I, I made that line. I just took a dark marker and went down there, down through there so that I could see from top to bottom and I know that that's exactly where I need to score. When you have something like this, it helps out a lot. See, I just put the line right there and then I line it up down here and I know that that's going to be a straight line. Okay, then we're going to do this just to make sure that I got it folded right. Now, this is printer paper, or a thicker printer paper. I think this is about 110 GSM, but don't press too hard on it. Your, mark, your uh, little tool will go straight through. Right there. Now, I have not put this one together yet, so, oh, gotta do these. So I'm not sure how this one's gonna look, but we're going to find out in just a minute, aren't we? Okay, that's all of our score lines. So let's go ahead and fold. And I'm just going to fold on all the score lines. I'm going to do this one the same way. And then this one the same way. So just fold on all of those lines. Like that. Now, if you want to make a nice expandable pocket, one that is going to have some expanse to it where you could put like a card or something like that in it, you can go by this last score line right here, right there. And I would probably print this on cardstock if I was going to make an expandable one so it would be a little bit thicker. But you glue this to that one right there at that score line. But if you want a smaller pocket, just like a flat pocket, almost, then you're going to bring it on over and glue like that. See, I'm going to my first score line here, my first score line there, and that's where I would put it together. Or you can just go flat and lay those in flat like that, and then pull this all the way up. And you've got a flat one that you could do as well. But I like a little bit of the expanse, and that's what I'm going to use. I'm not going to use the last one, I'm going to use the first one. And I'm going to put it together right there on that line. So then I'll have an envelope that has just a little bit of an expanse to it so that I can put some different memorabilia in here. So see, it's going to have lots of tuck room that I can put in there. And we're going to put it on the inside. Let me grab this. Oh. We're going to put it on the inside right here. And when I make this out of some thicker cardstock, it won't, uh, it won't bend like this one will. I'm going to print it out of cardstock. Now, I, I'm hoping that I got it printed. I, it looks like I did, where your writing is the right way up when you put it together. I had to turn it around two or three times, but yeah, the writing's the right way up here, and it's also the right way up here, so that's good. It's not the right way up on your tabs on the sides, but that doesn't matter. So see, I would put it together like that, and I would put it down right here with cardstock, and it'll keep its, its definition, and then I can tuck all kinds of little things in here in the front, even little cards that I get from different people, until I get ready to put them in my correspondence journal. And, you know, if they don't go in one way, you can put them in the other way, and you could still close that up if you wanted to. So you have lots of little cards inside there. 
So whichever line you're going to use, that would be the line that I score on. I wouldn't score on all of them unless I was going to, you know, use different ones. When I do this in cardstock, all I'm going to do is score on that very first line right there and leave that other one alone. And that way I'll have a little expandable pocket like that. All right, guys, that is it, I think, for today. Also, I wanted to show you this. These flowers would go wonderful on there, won't they? That red one. With this being kind of a, a dingy black and white, that'll go good on there. So I'm going to go ahead and print this again and get it made for here. And then I'm going to get my pages together so that we can work on our correspondence journal. Because we have got to get this done because I have got so much to put in it. So I just wanted to come along and show you those that I got from Etsy Shares and tell you guys to go over and make sure that you grab these digitals because they are absolutely gorgeous. So I'll have all the links below and we will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And if you have a digital that you would like for us to show or showcase on here or make a project out of, you can email me at the email below and send me the file and we will do that. All right, we'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.